OG back on the screen. This is an IRL video. Good video too. Now this video is not a shot to nine to fives. It's not a shot to streaming. This is just me bringing overall clarity because I'm always, I've always been an in-between person in life, uh, in the middle person, and realizing how seeing all perspectives. Some people only see one perspective because they're actually a lot of people that's stuck in the positions. Now, first off, Duke Dennis said nine to fives was hard, right? And I quoted it, and I said, um, in what world does nine to five worker not have to pay shit? And it got a lot of uh, nine to five people, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say really triggered, but just not understanding it. But he was like, brother, like he said, that shit is a hobby turned into a career. People literally say all the damn time, I took a risk. None of that makes sense to the point of what I'm about to get into detail and break it down, right? So we're going to watch this whole video. Well, watch it's not video. harder than a nine to five. Streaming is a hobby that you lucked up and you made it your career. Making content is a hobby. Being a content creator is a hobby. Something you do on your fucking free time. If you work hard enough at it, like Kai said, turn it into your, a career, congratulations. But bro, never compare having to get up and go to work when somebody else say so. Get off work when somebody else say so. You gotta ask somebody else if you can relax. Hey, boss. I don't feel good. Can I have the day off? No, I still gotta come in. Okay, bet. Now let's start it here. When Duke ha became a streamer, did he just start and blew and was blown up from the rip, or wasn't Duke in the military? Didn't Duke work a certain job here? Didn't y'all see him go through the certain trends? Wasn't he in the hood? Didn't Duke deal with real life hood shit that affected his life? Correct, right? We know that, right? Now, when you work a job, when if you get born into this world, can you just make money because you're born into this world? Everybody got to go get a job. Everybody got to go work. Everybody can either have a mind, though, to say, damn, and see that me working this nine to five job is not enough money. That's the only reason why all y'all in the comment sections and all y'all in Duke Dennis comment sections agreeing, but I could tell that it's that just you want to agree because you probably in that scenario and you're not a streamer. That's nine times out of ten, obviously it. They think that it's easier. Hold on. All right. In listen to what you're saying right five. now. Streaming is... Streaming is not harder than a nine to five. Streaming is a hobby that you lucked up and you made it your career. Making content is a hobby. Being a content creator is a hobby. Something you do on your fucking free time. If you work hard enough at it, like Kai said, turn it into your, a career, congratulations. But bro, never compare having to get up and go to work when somebody else say so. Get off. All right, I'm going to pause it right here. Basically, Duke Dennis, it's his main problem with the nine to five is the control. Somebody telling you what to do. Somebody telling you this. Nobody talks about how you're getting paid money, though. You still getting the check. If you didn't have the nine to five job, you have to be working in the woods. That's what you could kind of compare streaming to, because if you start from scratch with streaming, who do you have? Do you have the nine to five that's still offering you the benefits or shit? No, you don't. You're by yourself. You're on your own. So that's a harder risk than anything. What did Duke Dennis say in his words? Let, remember, I'm a sci, uh, psychiatrist, licensed therapist. Lucked up. Duke Dennis and a lot of streamers, because they're in a great position, will think that they got lucky in life. He even says in the end of this that he's grateful, that he's just all super grateful. And that's a good energy to have, regardless. He's super grateful, so he'll be able to maintain a position being grateful of his position. But he said he lucked up when that's not the case. I've seen Duke Dennis before he blew up. I had more subs than Duke Dennis before he blew up and passed me as subs. He was in the military, grinding this, grinding that, low view, still grinding. You don't know what else he was dealing with in the back before he had his money, before he had anything. Some of the down days, some... Nobody sees that part. People just look at him when he's in a luxury. Right now, the position he is right now, because we're in life. If you're still stuck in a position where you still gotta work, you still gotta go, and you see a nigga just being able to sit there and do that, it's going to make you feel like, oh, well, he does it so easy. You don't even got to do shit because you're in a position that you don't want to be in naturally. 
You don't want to get up and go and have to work and... But is that a streamer's fault? Remember, a streamer had to go through a lot of those days before he got to his big day to where he's at right now. A lot of worse days where you probably had a paycheck coming in. At least you had a paycheck coming in. But what people don't realize with the 9 to 5 jobs is that it can't support anyone. If anything, I would tell a person use a 9 to 5 as a tool to invest into something bigger. I just recently had somebody tell me to, based off of this, me commenting on the Duke Dennis thing that um, people, hey, this co what world do you live in? This college degree that I got and still can't get a job. See, this is what I mean. Like, people still stuck in 2003. We're in 2024 where we understand there's over 200 different people with that same degree that you got. This is the Hunger Games. You still got to... You still got to compete and battle with another human being for your nine to five job. Do we forget this? It's levels within things. You, how are we going to say streaming is a hobby when you make money? Yes, a person can say, oh, I'm going to stream for my leisure time. But once you get to this state, it's no longer that. You're getting sponsorship deals. Duke Dennis is getting sponsorship deals. Duke Dennis has to show up to certain events at this point in time. This time, do this. Whether he had to do this at the event, do that. They got contracts. These boys got contracts now and things that they have to do it's on rotation, just like a job. There's a little bit more freedom. And yes, that's the benefit that anybody, any streamer tells you that's the best with free because you're like your own boss. In the world, where do you get to be your own boss anywhere else? Unless you're doing some things with stocks. you Where do you get to be your own boss? So once you jump into not, people know that. Another point I want to say, there's people with nine to five jobs. We're not going to make it seem like all nine to five is hell. Stop it. I've had brothers, family members, people that I know right now that are still working nine to five jobs. And guess what? Security jobs. Way better than McDonald's, Target, Walmart. A security job going to pay. Some of them pay 18, 19. You could maybe the lowest one, maybe like a 16 or something like an hour. But guess what? They can have their video games at a security job and sit and play the video game. Doing one of his hobbies at his job, leisure time transmuting that energy oh he's at his work but he's still making money that he could bring his video game in there because he's the only security guard man and there's more other jobs like that where people on their phones they ain't watching my streams even i would say stream is not enough unless you're blown up it's all about associating getting into business getting up with like minds connecting you got this group of associates over here that help you with you got this group of associates over here that's the times we're in right now in this recession. No one thing can hold it. Unless you are blown up like a, uh, what's his name? Unless you like at Duke Dennis level right now. But even if you was probably at like 100K and you getting a good money and stuff, it's still not enough. You still need more avenues to come through. And then streaming is more risky to people. How do you, how are you going to say something is harder when you rather do the 9 to 5 because you know it's more for sure? And you, the streaming, you know that it's a risk. So some, you got to have something great inside of you for that risk to work. I'm tired of y'all being in delusional states, man. That's why y'all don't believe in yourself now. I'm tired of it. You have to have something great inside of you for you to take a risk to where you can end up being broke. Lose everything. Don't gain nothing. Never make it. But you did. Something inside of you had to be greater, <coughs> right or wrong. But people going to try to knock that and make it seem like, oh, a nigga got lucky in the position. That shit ain't, come on, man. Celebrities been running the fucking world. We, they been having leisure time, easy ass jobs. But a celebrity will tell you, you, we watch the interviews, they'll tell you the shit they do ain't easy. The shit that they do is looked at impossible by certain people. Some people think they can't do nothing certain celebrities have done in their lifetime. Do y'all know how crazy that is? When they're a human just like you, they just was in a different space, working harder in a different space, a different realm of reality, seeing things differently to attract and accumulate and bring things towards them. That's what he did. That's what we all need to do as humans. That's like me going outside and I'm singing some type of beautiful chant song and a whole bunch of people just surround me. And then maybe, oh, there's a guy who, who actually does stuff with music and he's actually some type of producer dude. And boom, I get an opportunity because of something inside me. Point blank, period. We're not going to, and we're not going to make it seem like, we're not going to do this fake battle because people like to do this battle. What's hard? It, 
anybody's life could be hard. Somebody could have a nine to five right now and his life is easy. Probably got a house that's already paid off. His job is easy. Everybody loves him at his work job. So he don't, he's not even a realm of thinking like he's in a nine to five. Do you understand? Like life is like that as well. But no, you're going to catch all the people that's fascinated by Duke Dennis under his comment sections that's still working nine to fives. That's just going to agree because it's like a relatable post to people just so they could feel like, damn, yeah, he's right. Never compare it. Streamers got it easy. And it's not that. Streamer could easily just start running out of ideas, have some real life problems going on in the background. Somebody sabotaging his real life problems. Then he's going downhill. Now he's ready to crash out, kill himself. It's been many of scenarios. Come on, man. We got to stop this. I've always said, use everything as tools. You Nobody should be working a nine to five right now thinking that that's the only thing they need to do. And still trying to do the, oh, well, I'm going to work this job for six years and, and become a, go up in Walmart and become a general manager and shit. Nobody should be thinking like that. You are, you're, you're stuck in the past. You're stuck in the old times. It's way more different avenues of making money, building, and working together with people. Things that a lot of people don't want to do. Y'all want to be solo on your own. When you want to be solo, oh, I got, I could do this on my own. I could do this by myself and shit and make money. You're going to have to live hard, life the hard way like that. What is Duke Dennis and all them doing? Working with a team. Working with a team. And it's accumulating the more money. Working with the team. And we're not going to make it seem like that just happened within a snap for those niggas. Like, stop. People still have to lose family members, pass away in life, and they still have to go through life dealing with a family member that passes. Some people don't get over shit like that. Some people crash out once a family member passes and they can't live their life properly. Their mind gets messed up. Their mental gets fucked up. They can't even be happy enough and charged up enough to go to a new opportunity in life for a new opportunity to present itself. So understand, life is deeper than what people just be trying to say and shit like and just trying to throw out their little traumas, really. That's how I look at it. We're not going to make it seem like streaming is easy or everybody would be doing it and everybody would have money. Stop it. We're not about to do that. We're not. <laughs> We're not about to do that. We're not. This is some shit like, let's say, like, for example, <coughs> I'm going to end it off like this. Let's say a guy comes with a gun and he's like, listen, you either choose this nine to five job that pays 19 an hour or you choose to go to route of streaming and you got to try to make it to become a streamer. If you fail at being a streamer, you get shot. You go to the nine. I mean, you get killed. You go to the nine to five job. Nothing happens. Think about it. Niggas took those risks because think about it. The same thing. You could put this analogy. I'll make it more realistic. Somebody could be, he, he has a good little job. It's paying his bills here and there a little bit, but he has a little track. He, but he knows that he has the energy inside of him. I'm telling you, nobody goes and just does these leap, leaps like how Duke did and he's up now. And they don't feel that they had that energy inside them. Trust me. Or that will inside them to push forward. He could have went and took that route and guess what? Lost his house, lose everything. And then crash out. Can't live with all of it. And just crash out. Then the person's gone. That reality can really happen. Understand that. That's what I be trying. It's not just a, oh, you become a streamer and you try to go for the route of streamer and it's easy. It's the easiest thing to do. You have to work hard to get into the position to sit in a luxury. Just like the gen the top of the dog manager, whoever owns Target, worked hard enough to become that number one guy to be in that position to be able to sit down and just have to go show up at places, do a little few things, and his work is easier. What are we talking about here? Duh, once you get in a high position, it's easier. That's any high position in life. And still, to a person that's knowledgeable and who has awareness... I understand that it's still not that easy. He's just up. We got to look at Duke Dennis like he's a Jay-Z of his community right now. So he's going to be buried in for a long time. He's going to be set for a good while. It ain't, you can't see no Duke Dennis falling off type to energy. So yes, he's going to have that luxury to where he's going to feel like things are way easier now. Because he don't got to go through the regular stresses. How we wake up, we got to think about bills and shit. And I'm still in that energy. So don't make it seem like I'm all Gucci. Just because I got a YouTube channel. But I'm trying to get people's minds to understand this. Like, you got to stop looking at life like that. Because you could down your 9 to 5 so much and lose the blessings from that. Use your 9 to 5 to support something else on the side. That's what everybody has to be doing right now. Nobody's just trying to sit off one income. Come on now. Let me know what y'all think about this. Hit that like, subscribe.